Hi, uh, my name is Cynthia Williams. I'm a professor of law. I am a professor emerita at Osgoode Hall Law School in Canada, also the University of Illinois College of Law, and I am currently a part-time professor of law at the Vrij Universiteit in the Netherlands. Um, I write in the areas of securities law, corporate law, and corporate responsibility, and um, have paid a particular attention to uh, corporate and securities law in the U.S. and Canada. We're seeing increasing regulation to require climate disclosure in uh, various countries around the world. This was um, particularly inspired by Mark Carney when he was governor of the Bank of England, and he tasked the Financial Stability Board to um, come up with a framework for required disclosure. That framework is the Task Force on Climate-Related Financial Disclosures, TCFD, and it's been quite influential in a, a number of jurisdictions, uh, for instance, in the UK and New Zealand, uh, where it is being required. Uh, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission in um, March of 2022 proposed expanded climate disclosure based on TCFD. And what's important about TCFD is that it really emphasizes the board's responsibility and asks questions about how companies' boards are evaluating climate risk and identifying targets for reductions in their greenhouse gas emissions. Regulators around the world are understanding that climate change poses systemic risks to the financial system and that these risks are non-diversifiable. That means you can't create a portfolio of investments that will allow you to avoid these risks. So in other words, Regulators and investors around the world are now understanding that climate is a financially material risk. By enacting disclosure requirements that inform investors of how boards and management are evaluating and managing the risks and opportunities to their company from climate change, it is um, likely that investors will get better, more comparable, more consistent disclosure and can then allocate their investment resources towards companies where management is being proactive. We are also seeing another impetus for this is coming uh, not just from financial regulators, not just from banking uh, regulators, as it has been around the world, but also um, accounting. Uh, the accounting industry has certainly recognized this as a financially material risk. And so we now see the International Sustainability Standards Board. Uh, which is uh, consolidating some of the voluntary accounting standards and disclosure standards. Um, and we are seeing that this uh, new board, ISSB, is aiming to deliver a comprehensive global baseline for incorporating accounting um, risks from climate change. There is starting to be such a consensus. There's certainly a consensus that we need to have um, consistent standards of disclosure, that uh, companies have uh, so many different voluntary standards uh, by which to potentially disclose their climate risks and their opportunities, that it is not giving investors a consistent and comparable framework uh, by which to evaluate companies. So um, the development of voluntary standards by CDP, by GRI, by SASB, those were extremely important in starting to develop um, metrics 
and starting to develop analytic techniques for identifying climate risk and opportunities. But now it seems there is developing a strong consensus amongst companies, governments, and investors that a consistent um, set of disclosure um, standards is required. And then one of the things that's important to recognize is that TCFD and the you know, SEC's proposals based on TCFD provide companies with a framework for disclosure, but ask for qualitative information. Again, you know, how is the board evaluating and managing these risks? There is also in development a strong quantitative framework, which is the greenhouse gas protocol. And that is identifying um, the greenhouse gas emissions from a company, from its own operations, from its purchased electricity, and from its supply chain. And there too, we see consistent standards being developed.